So let's now go to fix assets module to check the newly created assets. All right. So in order to do that, go to Oracle applications. Now I'll just close these functions from payables responsibility, switch the responsibility to assets, say vision operations USA, that's the responsibility. And now you go to mass, mass additions and then you go on the first function prepare mass additions all right now here you you must give the book name it should be exactly the same book that we have given for running the mass additions program so choose that book it is this book, book ops corp all right the queue should be new because these assets have just been uh, created okay and then optionally you can you can give a supplier name out here okay so in our case the supplier name was G plastic is it not and you, if you want you can give other parameters the invoice number so in our case the invoice number was this one okay now with all this information hit the find button and you will see the details so as you have seen in the invoice we had three lines so it's just created three asset lines out here so as you could see these are exactly the same lines and you can in fact go to each of these lines to to review the asset details although the summary has been provided out here so that's the supplier supplier number this is the purchase order 6060 that we have used and the source system is Oracle Payables. All the information that we have given, the clearing account we have given at the PO level. All right. Now open this. Let's say we'll go to the first one, the desk. Okay, open this. And that's where you can see the information, the invoice number is out here. The same summary information, it can be detailed now in a form. All right. Asset details. Um, there were two units that we have purchased from supplier and now transferred to the fixed assets okay and all the information that we gave in purchasing module and in payables module and now have come in fixed assets module so as I've explained you earlier the next steps uh, for this is to complete the asset life cycle so that's a fixed assets personal uh, will do it for instance uh, bringing the assets in service depreciating the assets uh, say every month or every three months whatever the rules have been defined and uh, retiring the assets when the asset life cycle gets over so having said that now that completes the transactional flow as far as payables to asset integration is concerned so we will now go ahead to understand the setups that are required for this integration to work.